Well, a big hello to everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, here we are at the Catron event, and today I'm going through some of the styles that are included in AJ's um, Pro Expansion Pack that you can download and buy from AJ. Um, I just wanted to have a look through some of the styles because there's some incredible great styles in the machine as it is. Um, but if we dig a little bit deeper and go into the user section we can actually come up with some really nice styles now the first one that i wanted to show you and um, in the pack is an 8-bit ballad 2 because whilst i've been digging through the keyboard i found this beautiful recorder although it doesn't sound i mean it does sound recorderish but it, it sounds sort of very gentle sort of native american sort of So if we combine that with AJ's style, just start the rhythm. It's got this real beautiful sound and it works so well with this 8-beat ballad too. to variation D Now you notice I use lowest. I always do it. I, I, I've got into this thing where, because I come from the organ world, my whole education was learning to play organ. So my brain is calculating what note should be in the bass. However, if I turn it off, it still sounds as good. Let just take one one little look. Listen to this. Two. It's, it's stunning. And of course, if you wanted to, you can stick the violin or a string behind there. So if I go into strings, I've got to say I love the ensemble strings in here. And again, just, just a hint. And it just backs up that voice. I've got to turn that lowest on. I just my brain cannot function without that button. So anyway, let's let's go back into that. So again, we've got this nice, lovely recorder. It's one of the most beautiful sounds that's in the Catron. And with AJ Styles, it just opens up a world of.
go on and on and on. Uh, so that is is a great combination, the recorder and the ensemble, and using AJ's wonderful 8-bit ballad. Now, as I scroll through these styles, woohoo, watch this. I mean, this, you, you're going to go, oh, God, he's, on, he's off again, because this, this rhythm, I kid you not, I've used this rhythm for so many songs. It is such a great style. Waka waka wah. Those guitars, I mean that that whole It's just Waka 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 waka. I, I can safely say there aren't many keyboards. In fact, I've not heard any other keyboard that can do that sort of realism with a guitar. Now, if you're going to voice this, if you're going to pick a voice, because, again, I'm trying to sort of just give you my idea on where I would go. Um, if you go into the synth section and go into... Where are we? The, the techno voice is your first obvious... Try and look for something that's not so, not so thick. That's quite a... It's a really nice voice. And again, just stick something with some kick behind it. Two, three, four. You know me, I, I do like my strings. I always have to have some strings somewhere. Uh, and again, if I go to symphony, it starts to build up this sort of classical dance sort of sound. Three, four. You can play 90% of most chart hits using that style. Not necessarily sort of the ballad stuff, but certainly, you know, um, Robert Miles' Children, you could do that. that. That would work perfectly. Stick the piano on, add some delay to the piano, away you go. Uh, right, let's go back into another rhythm. Um, now, I'm, in fact, let me show you something before. I've been fiddling. I like to fiddle. Uh, and I found one of AJ's styles. Now, which one was it I used? Let me just uh, go and have a look. I think it's a rock one. It wasn't that one, no. I'm just trying to find which one it was I used. In fact, if I call up the um, performance, let's see if it comes up with what the... Uh, uh, it doesn't it hasn't pulled it up, but anyway, this is one of the styles that's in the pack. Um, and as soon as I heard the phrasing in the guitar, I thought, hang on a minute. So I put an overdrive guitar and a rock lead together. Took it down an octave, added some delay, some reverb. You know the song, don't you? Work, it just works so brilliantly. And then when we get to variation D. But it 
it's those funky guitars that give it that kick. It's a big sound, big, 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 big sound. And while I've been flicking through, let's go back to some of the um, the styles in here. So I'm on page, in fact, I'm still on page one. AJ's Little Fingers are really beautiful, gentle little sort of guitar style. That works for Here Comes the Sun, and if you wanted to put a... Let's have a look. If I go to voice one and pick a nice electric piano, and there's lots of them. Let's go with the whirly. That's down out there. Let's take it back up. There we go. That's better. So with the style, piece that comes to mind uh it's a uh let's pick a different piano for that actual fact uh page two digital That's the Beatles um, in my life. Piano. It's a, there's lots of nice songs you can play to that. It's a really nice, easygoing style. Nothing offensive. Very happy to sort of just play in the background while you twiddle on the right hand. Um, that's a technical term, by the way. Uh, American pop. Love is like a butterfly. Da, 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 da. Let me just have a look for a guitar, because again, I've got to go and pop a nice guitar in there. Take the lowest off and see what the bass line does. Perfectly. Again, maybe a little bit of a brighter guitar because that's a bit um, too muffled. I like the steel sort of. It's a great sound. Uh, so, yeah, if I use that. Again, if I'm going down this avenue, then I'm going to start looking for a pedal steel, aren't I? Let's, let's face it. Um, where are we? Uh, there is a pedal steel in here. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm still using the dial, even though I've got the option of these <laughs> buttons at the bottom. Uh, 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 country picked. There we go, pedal steel.
we got that sort of yee-haw sound. Uh, and it is a big yee-haw. Let's have a look. So we've got American Rock and Roll. Now, I did a little bit of a uh, sneaky registration because I just... Well, basically, I picked a voice already. Now, this works for Elvis's Burning Love. I mean, you've only got to start the rhythm. It's a great brass. This goes on for eight bars, would you believe? get the gist whoops three four now you have to be careful not to play too much because the, the real chord is the whole thing is doing quite a lot in the background Again, ending. Yeah, so that definitely ticks the box for anything Elvis. There's lots of other stuff you can play to this. What's her name? Do it all. Uh, so let's have a look at another rhythm. Ballad Outskirts. Sounds like a long way. The, the, the thing with these styles is there's a great selection of different stuff. It's not one of this, two of that, seven of something else. It's a really nice mix throughout the styles. So you can, I don't know what, I'm just thinking of something to play with that. Roy Orbison's Love Hurts, that would be perfect for that. It's a nice start. Beat Pop. Oh, I can't keep using the brass because that's far too aggressive. So maybe we want a... In fact, you know what? Let's go into the drawbar organs. A bit more... Uh... for a song called Stay With Me Till The Morning. Um, let me just see if I can... And do you know what? Actually, the strings would be beautiful for that. Take them down an octave. Slow them down a little touch. Still a 
bit too fast in actual fact. Let's take it down a bit. The clarinet concerto in G, I think, or D or C or whatever key it's in. Uh, but it's a classical piece that was changed um, in in uh, the Netherlands. And I can't remember the name of the woman who sang it, but it's a beautiful piece of music. But it's called Stay With Me Till The Morning. Is it Vicky Andros or something? I can't remember. I, if you Google Stay With Me Till The Morning, I kid you not, you'll love the piece. It's such a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. And it is taken from a classical classical melody uh right so where are we uh oh yes that was another one that we've uh, had a look at this is a, another style one of eight in the pack this is a slow rock style again really nice uh, this keyboard has phenomenally good strings and that style is i can't find another style like it actually in the keyboard so that's kind of it's, it's brilliant uh what else have we got america american shovel your chin that's definitely one for that one Yeah, that is that is a definite sort of country and western sort of hit. So again, going back into my guitar, let's have a look in the guitar pedal steel. I don't want to Stradivarius with it. It just works. Every cowboy song known to man, you can play with that. Um, that that is another nice. It's American shuffle. Well, why not? Uh, Ballad Paradise. I'm got a feeling this might be one of the electro sort of sounds. Now this is. I I always struggle with things like this because this isn't a known style for me. So my first default is to go and go classical. So. What I'm going to do is try Pavan. Pavan playing it. Let's try this. One, two, three, four. It, it just, it, it lightens the mood, doesn't it? Let's face it. Variation B. For 
some reason I want to start singing Gangster's Paradise, but I'm not. But it's got that sort of um, sort of hood feel, hasn't it? Hell no, definitely not pedal steel. I'm going to go back to my strings because that's their ensemble. It's a, it's it's a it's a different style. That's all I can say. I don't know what the hell you'd play to it properly, but now that begs a nice uh, guitar. So going to guitar, and I want that steel, uh, not the pedal steel, sort of. Do you know, I'm now hearing different. I, I'm thinking, hang on a minute. Let's go into ethnic voice and look for something like a... Oh. I'm hearing strings coming in, so uh, bear with me. So. That's a really nice style that you could play lots of sort of the nice rumbery um, sort of styles. Also, maybe some sort of bossa nova stuff as well. Um, that's called Begin Loverboy. <laughs> Say no more about that. Right, so we're on to Brush Ballad. Now, this begs again thinking my my head which is don't you honestly you don't want to be in there uh digital piano straight to your heart.
on. <laughs> the organist really wants to get paid, doesn't he? Uh, that is a absolutely great style for just sort of sitting and, and playing. In fact, let me just just try this. So if I take the drums and just the bass. Yeah, you, you don't even need to have the chord part on for that. You can just sit and, and play and riff and... Do you know, I better move on quick because I could be here all day with these things. Um, okay, so... Cha-Cha Winding. Now, I, I, I don't get the name of this. Winding what? What are we winding up? Somebody likes the cowbell. Very just sort of traditional ballroom style that is. That's ideal for sort of kiss me, honey, honey, kiss me. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if I get a copyright strike for singing as opposed to playing. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, it's you can play. The, in fact, there's so much stuff. Let me just go and pick a voice because brass, again, that sort of thing pulls the the, the heart strings to the grow brass. Grow, yeah, grow brass. Not grow bag, grow brass. Could, you could just go on for hours. Um, that is, again, another one of those rhythms that you put on, and then two hours later, you look at you watching it. <gasps> Where's the time gone? Because it's just so addictive. <laughs> All that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to hover on that one because that'll probably bore the pants off most of you. Um, I don't know. In fact, I have no idea. When when I sort of show styles and things, I sort of generally have an idea of the audience that I'm, I'm showing to. I've got no idea with catch on. It's a whole new world, this. Uh, clapping away. scooby doo be doo be doo be doo yeah, that's that's got some funk. Just brighten those drums up a little bit. we got a good funky guitar I can throw in there because song that I'm trying to direct you to on this one. 
I don't want to say in case there's a there's a um yeah. But anyway, that that's that's ideal for that sort of funk. <laughs> It's got this nice build up on variation C. in the air do you know I love stuff like this with those heavy sort of congery sort of That guitar's nice, it, it warms, but it wants a little bit of something. Uh, I'm not sure whether sax. Actually, I'm telling lies, that, that jazz guitar doesn't work. just leads you again it's another one of those rhythms the the the, the <laughs> i'm getting very excited the styles that the pack contains are all a real great mix of stuff that you can just let loose with there's no really sort of i would class as boring um styles in there uh they they, they aren't boring styles they're, they're Electronic dance. Now again, sort of, my head is going and it's directing me towards a nice uh, guitar that's sort of um, flamenco, maybe. You could do careless whisper to that in a very much more sort of Ibiza loungy sort of style. Maybe not delay that keeps coming back. That's 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 pretty uh, a long delay. There we go. It's not too bad. Uh, right, let's go. We're going to dig in a different section. Chill out.
very different. Nice and sort of relaxed. Dance around. I don't know if I've got the energy. Uh, let's try it. Okay, that's very similar to the other funky sort of disco-y. Not so sure about that clap. It sounds more like shimmy Can you imagine a nightclub full of people and you don't like them? Bang! Bang! Bang. <laughs> Sorry, I have some horrible thoughts. I think I would go in and change that clap, just personally. That's my own my, my own taste. Sounds like gunshot. Right, dance with Lipper. Now this is... Now this this is the style that I used for the um, Attention, a song called Attention by Charlie Puth. Um, and that worked brilliantly with that s- super synth voice, which was the techno. <laughs> another belter um yeah that 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 is one of my um well sort of i I have what i call to the say go-to styles and that is a becoming one of my Yeah, that's that. That's a good one. That's a very good one. Uh, extended ballad. Now that's the voice. That's the style. I think. That, in fact, is that I used for the first opening song with the with the recorder, um, and that recorder was so good. Uh, then we got falling in love. Of course, this is another another perfect style for this song. Go into guitar. And I want some sort of uh, strap. Helps if I pick the damn rhythm, doesn't it? Let's go back to where were we? Falling in love. There we go. Maybe not that clean strap. It's a really nice style. It really is a very, very... I keep saying this, but anyway, I'm digging through here. Uh, Golden Fields. Hmm, that sounds very dire straits. Uh, make of that what you will, if you want to play something from dire straits. Oh, is this... Now, is this the one that I was... Oh, God, yes. Now, the, <laughs> I sat here last night 
And I thought, I'll just have a flick through these. And of course, I'm going through and thinking, yeah, these are great. Gospel Shuffle. My, I can't say God, because of course, it's direct line to him. But Gospel Shuffle is just the most amazingly orchestrated. Let me just go to the... You've got to put organ on a gospel shuffle, but listen to this intro. The end. 17 bars long. That is immense for it, for an intro. And then it goes to four bars. And then I'm in. Right, let me go into the draw bar mixer and have a look, see what we've got. So I want a more beefy organ. Are you ready for this? This is just variation D. It's like church on speed. It's just it's just craziness. But it's a hell of a start. And let's take listen to the ending. Do you know, if I went to church and they played that sort of music, I'd never be out of the place. What an absolute cracking. <laughs> Whew, tell you what, that's 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 some real quality style there. Uh, that, I should, yeah, this is good. I've got a list now I'm building up as I'm going through this keyboard and getting more familiar with the Ketron. And there's a list of styles that I go, right, I want to go with that one. I want to go with that one. That is just made it into that list. No problem at all. Right, here comes Begin. I need a slow lie down. I don't know about Begin. Oh, that's better. And again, if you wanted to go for something slightly different, where, where did I find that? Um, this is again sort of me getting used to this and remembering where things are. There is a. Where did I find the um, recorder? It's got to be in here. Uh, mind you, I don't know whether it's down as an ethnic instrument. Um, <laughs> probably not. I would be mad if you did. Oh, there was another voice as well I wanted to show you. Tinkles. If you move that up an octave. With Christmas coming. More like it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Christmas. Uh, anyway, I'm drifting. Uh, but if you wanted to put something Christmassy, use the strings and tinkles together and you get this really great sound. Uh, it's lovely for that sort of thing. Um... It wasn't, it can't be in brass and it can't, is it in sax? That would probably, yeah, that'd probably make more sense, wouldn't it? Put it in sax. There we go, Luke. You know, I've started to appreciate that sound so much. It's so delicate. It's 
kind of Japanese sound to it. Voice 2, I'm going to throw on my favourite voice. But I want the strings down an octave. Oh, hang on, what have we done here? What, oh, no, oh, blast. Why is that gone there? Uh, strings, ensemble. Right, and then we want our flute, which was in sax. <laughs> Right, now I'm going to put the string back where it should have been. There we go. If you're going to go down that avenue, I keep sort of giving you voice combinations here as well. But if you're going to go down that avenue, go back into the um, the, the mandolin. the combination here comes begin it certainly did 50 shades not a fan of that style sorry i can't it's just it's one of those styles you can't play anything to i mean what are you supposed to play to that i put a spell on you well that's past so yeah I'm, that's not what i would particularly want to use it's there if you need it it's like an emergency first aid kit you only pull it out when you need it but that's where i would leave it so we got good salsa mingo now I need a little group of Mexicans to sing along to that because that it, it speaks for itself. It's very busy. I mean, if you're going to put anything on, it's got to be that grow brass. And that's... That's the one where it's got the um, riff. Yep. Okay, that ticks that box grace gospel says it all doesn't it amazing go draw bar <laughs> helps if I press draw bar first there we go Thank you. 
That's a really nice style. You can play all that sort of happy gospel. I'd say happy is quite a miserable style. But you know what I mean? It, it's it, <laughs> Amazing Grace is a lovely song. Beautiful song. And if you're after one of those sort of sort of gospel styles, that's the one you go to. There's without, without a question, without a question. Right, guys. Well, the time is flying by. Um, I'm going to do a, another video, which I'm going to look at the styles on the Ketron and come up with sort of suggestions for Christmas music and things that you can play over the festive period. So uh, until then, I shall say thank you for everybody's help. Um, I have posted a couple of questions on the Ketron event group. So those of you who've been in touch and kindly even posted pictures, you're such a lovely bunch of people. Um, this is one thing I have realised, is that people who own Ketrons are really nice people. Well, most of them are. I've seen the odd comment here and there. But then again, you know, who cares? Uh, but on the whole, I'm really overwhelmed with the support that everybody has for each other for this instrument it, and i can understand why my first review was quite i say quite cutting it was very cutting um but that was because i hadn't had the patience uh, and you do need patience with this instrument you need to sit down and sort of look at things in quite detail uh and aj's pack which he sent over to me helped me to cut a lot of that time out because it was just install and I got access to all the things that I expected to have access to. So that made life very, very easy. So thank you for that, AJ. That's really been a, a real big help. I mean, to be fair, AJ has been a great help. Um, I've, I've looked for videos. In fact, I was looking at making stars the other night. And I thought, right, well, let's, let's have a go at making user stars. Um, oh, God, I'm going to embarrass myself here now. So I went to use this. I went to make a user style. Um uh, what am I doing now? There we go. I'll tap there. There we go. Uh, user style. I don't even know whether I've still got it, but I. Oh, where did I. What was it I did? Oh, there we go. Look, it's number one. So this. This was knocked up in the best part of 15 minutes. And then. allows you to put the variations in and do all the drum programming that you want to do and I was looking for some I thought how the hell do I do this and I was looking and AJ's video was the only video that I could find that made sense on on YouTube and he made a video saying here's how you make a style um but there was one thing that he did miss out and I thought oh no um was how you change the voice now I assumed like an idiot that to do that, if I go into viewer modeling, let me just show you this, because if you're going to make a style, you'll find this really useful, because I know I hunted the web, and again, the club was really helpful, because two members uh, came back to me on this one. But if I went into, say, for example, into style edit, um, and let me show you the screen, because you'll get a better idea then. Here we go, look. Um, I wanted to change the voice. Now, I tapped on it and thought, where is it? And I tapped on it again and pressed. He went down to the level of pressing the um, voice selections here. 
thinking that would make sense. Oh, no, 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 no. Make sense? God, no. You have to hold your finger on it. And when you hold your finger on, then you can go and pick the voice. So anybody who's struggling with this, or is it just me being an idiot? I don't know. I know I, know I qualify sometimes for that. Um, but that that was the that was the fix anyway but it was just a little thing that i think aj didn't change anything in the video so that was something i think that you know certainly people like me would need to know um but on the whole this guy you know he does a lot and lot of support for for the ketron um organization and uh, without him i would have been a little bit more stuck than i had been so um there you go. That's me uh, bigging him up. There's lots of others on there. Um, I noticed there's quite a few on Facebook who sort of support, but the language is not English. Um, in fact, the style programming, I watched, I think it was Slovakian, and I sat there just looking at the, the screen, mesmerised. But um, So without AJ's little sort of help and, and everything that he does, he really does fly the flag for for catron in terms of support so thank you for that aj really do appreciate it and you've made my life easier with this and again by doing so i can then share and impart my knowledge whatever little bit i've got with other catron players here in the uk um so yeah so there you go i'm going to disappear and leave you to but thank you for this little sort of walk through the styles and uh, hopefully we'll see you, well, I'll speak to you next time at the festive period in December when uh, when it's time for those jolly old Christmas carols. Bah humbug. Right, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.